Let's take a look at the weapons, vehicles, and other equipment used in the anime, Girl's Last Tour. We'll start by looking at what the character Chito wore every day while out in the apocalypse. Chito wore the Brody Helmet. The Brody Helmet was first used by the British during World War I, and it quickly inspired other countries to create their own variant of the Brody Helmet because of how easy it was to make the helmets. The jacket she wore was the American M51 Field Jacket. The scope we see Chito using is a German ZF4. Now let's move on to the equipment we see Yuri using. The helmet we see her using is the German M40 helmet. This helmet would inspire later designs to create better ear coverage to protect the user. I couldn't find anything exactly like the jacket that Yuri uses. There's a million things that look like it, but the closest thing is the American N3B parka but it's not exact. The rifle we see Yuri using is the Arasaka Type 38. On the internet, there's been some debate about whether or not it might be the Type 99, but the Type 99 uses 7.7 .7 by 58 mm ammo, while the Type 38 uses 6.5 by 50 mm. And in one of the episodes, Yuri is seen with a 6.5 mm cartridge. So for a quick second, we're just going to look at the rucksacks that they're using. But we're not going to exactly say what rucksack this is because there's so many like it, but here's some that look a lot like it. We see this airplane in episode 1 and I could not believe it was a real aircraft. This is the 295. This airplane is considered to be one of the loudest in the world because the propellers spin faster than the speed of sound. Here we see a Russian Tokarev TT-33. These were made in the 1930s and were used in World War II. And to this very day they can still see combat. In this picture we just see a small glimpse of what looks like an AK. This is the M134 minigun in the famous handheld chainsaw grip. The M134 minigun is used heavily among the American military. Here we see a Browning 50 cal. Pretty sure everyone knows what this is so I'm not going to give details. Here we see a Barrett 50 cal with a muzzle brake that is not made by Barrett, probably for copyright reasons. This is the Japanese Type 97 Chiha tank. Japan started making these tanks in the late 1930s and they were decent for their time. But during World War II, the Type 97 was basically trash when fighting American tanks. This cannon looks something like an 85mm M1939 Soviet air defense gun. But the muzzle brake looks to be something more like a 152mm M1937 howitzer. And it's mounted on what looks like a German Flak 36. This is a 1950s Soviet BM-14. The BM-14 shoots 140mm rockets and is still used by over a dozen countries today. This is a Soviet T-34-76 tank, which is still seen in combat to this very day. These are Sturm Tigers. They were basically a tank with a giant mortar used by the Germans during World War II. And lastly, of course, we have our beloved half-track motorcycle, the Kettenkrod. The Kettenkrod had a top speed of 44 miles per hour. The vehicle also had two fuel tanks, one on each side of the driver. Believe it or not, the Kettenkrod is technically classified as a tractor. And after World War II, that's exactly what they used it for. Once World War II had ended, a lot of people ended up using Kettenkrods as tractors. I hope you guys enjoyed some of this information I was able to provide for you. I have been trying to find a few more pieces of equipment that I couldn't identify. For instance, this jacket right here. I've looked at German, American, Russian, Japanese, and British jackets. And the closest I could find was a World War II Japanese Navy NCO tunic. But it's not quite exact. The collar is the same. The buttons are slightly different. The pockets are slightly different. But it's the closest thing I could find right now. So if anyone has information on that, that'd be awesome. Guys down on the rock. Oh yeah, yeah. Now, boy, that's just him around the hill. Oh, one pushing up, no. Pushing up, no.